Gana for me now, Quabba, at the Bassum Quat TV. And no first marshal soon Quat TV, my sister. Well, I can also subscribe no share, and every time you're a fresh new subject, I share. No, the Acosso of my Gana. Gana for in him, sir, at two forcing. And yet, your papa, Paul Drain, sir, were funny who a detroit or co. Now, very interesting, air at two forcing any lawyer said to the in case no more any foolish case, and escape your own be a mature. We purchase, indeed, they are very guilty about the case. Case number two, a yet. Uh, yeah, um, lawyer Paul Adomotri editor just said, in every crime and I say in every court case beyond it starts from the preliminary stages. Let me say every crime beyond almost as safety, echo high court, and almost as much as said, this is exactly how the setting goes like we want the case back high court to make the case no a witness will come a witness or two will come um, on tell some then they move it to a very higher court a chain a year accra high court that's how the stages look like so i'm going to know one day dr kisu at the first and says one shin yin one shin yin one shin yin pa which me a renewal in some prison 20 years flat ah kind of for any assembly to it is yes and bueno you can look at this and some way to remember me that we now as down it is predictable so when you do something there's something that you have done, the narrative of what you have done, they bring it onto the table, say what you have done, and see which one fits. So, Sandogwe told Paul Adomotri that he will buy him a yacht in Las Vegas. Paul Adomotri parted with $50,000 to Sandogwe to buy the yacht in Las Vegas. Sandogwe was aware that at the time that Paul Adomotri gave him the money, or at the time that he, Standogbe, made representation before Paul Adumotri that he is able to acquire a yacht for Paul Adumotri, Standogbe knew or ought to have known that he is in no capacity to buy the yacht. But Standogbe nonetheless presented himself as one who is able to buy a yacht. So Stanislav Hosedogbe took $50,000 from Paul Adumotri and Paul Adumotri's expectation was that he will be given a yacht in Las Vegas so that when Asante Kotoko beat Hassle Folk, he will take the Kotoko boys to Las Vegas and put them on the yacht and they will sing Kuma Pima Pimbeba, Kuma Pima Pimbeba, etc. Okay. So Paul Adomachi goes to the police and says that I have given Stan Dogbe $50,000 to buy me a yacht. Up to today, the yacht doesn't come. When I call him, he doesn't pick. When his PA picks, he's insulting me. So I don't know what to do. The police will say, what is the address of Stan Dogbe? I said, I have his phone number, 0244773333, police call. He picks, hello, are you Mr. Standogwe? He says, why are you asking? Are you Mr. Standogwe? What do you want? Hey, this is the Ghana police. Are you Standogwe? He says, yes, I'm Standogwe. Come to headquarters. Paul Adumoshi, Standogwe is coming to headquarters, so meet us there with your lawyer. Standogwe comes. Hey, Mr. Standogwe, you have been reported about a case of uh, something we think is defrauding by false pretenses, contrary to section so and so of the Criminal Offences Act. So that's the preliminary stages. So case okay, so two forces would have gone through that preliminary stage. The police will now hand it over to the attorney general, the, the government prosecutor. The government prosecutor goes to court. So they go to, because depending on the offense, you see, the law has decided that if it is stealing, you go to circuit court. If it's this, you go to that. Most of the high profile offenses, you start at high court. Actually, there's no criminal prosecution that begins beyond the high court. There's no criminal prosecution, except, is there treason or something? I think all of them begin at high court. All criminal, high court and below, all criminal prosecutions begin at the high court. So he comes to the high court, like at 2 and co. The prosecution will start to make their case, okay? So they will say that you stand dogway on so so and so date, or let, let me use the actual actors, you case at 2 on so so and so date, you did this and that and that and that and that. Prosecution, whatever they say, they will prove it. How do they prove it? So they invite their witnesses. Witness one, Godfrey Diebo Adami. He comes. They call him PW1. PW means prosecution witness one. Okay. So prosecution witness one. Prosecution would actually have to tell the court that I'm calling seven witnesses. Prosecution cannot add an eighth except with permission of the court. The lawyers would like to confuse you. They say except with leave. Leave means permission. Don't worry about that. I'm here to help you, please. No, don't worry about the lawyer's language. Everything they say, I understand. I will help you. Every Latin they say, I understand. I will explain. Don't worry. So when the lawyer say, you need leave of the court, then they can't. Did you get leave? They mean permission. If they know that if they say permission, you understand, but they want to be boss. So, yeah, hey, permission. Forget about leave. So they need the permission of the courts to add an eighth person because they have already told you the defense. 
that they are going to call seven people. So they can't call eight. The seven people, they give their names to the court and their names to the defense. We'll be calling Anziba, Michelangelo, Apreku, da, da, da. And they will also tell the court that when Apreku comes, he'll be asked questions about this and that and that. So the defense lawyers are already aware. So in case they say they, they, when Apreku comes, they will ask him about something called nomenclature. Defense lawyers will look at it and say, ah, boss, what's nomenclature? Let's check the dictionary. They Google it. Oh, we understand. Okay, that's what they, there are no surprises in court. If you create a surprise, the judge can cancel it. No matter how valid it is, it ought not to be a surprise. I'm explaining the high court criminal procedure. Okay. So all those things are not allowed. Surprises are not allowed. You can't surprise anybody in court. So as soon as you say something that they are not aware of, they, they didn't know you were coming to say it, they're not prepared for it, the lawyer will say, my lord, he's surprising the court. This was not in the brief. The judge will say, ah, but prosecution wasn't in the brief. You can't use it. You didn't put it in the brief because you have to put everything in the brief. If you find something new in the brief, you come, you file an application to the court that day. When you file the application that I want to add iPhone 17 evidence, the defense will be asked that do they agree they will oppose the application. They may oppose the application. In fact, if they oppose the application and the judge doesn't listen, they can go to the court of appeal. Those are the things we call interlocutory applications. That is applications that occur in between the beginning of the trial and the end of the trial. The trial can start and go on without any problem, without any interjection. But where there's an interjection, where the judge has to make a ruling. So all the decisions that the judge makes during the court is called ruling. At the end of the day, it's called the judgment. So, every, so the judge is required to make decisions on small, 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 small things as they are going along. So an example, the guy comes to court one day and says that I am doing this. Prosecution says, no, my Lord, you can't do that. He says, my Lord, we oppose the application. Why do you oppose it? My Lord, contrary to Article 16 of the Republican Constitution, he's not able to do that in a criminal trial. Mm -hmm. The judge says, give me three days to look at this. That's how the case is delayed. So the judge takes three days. Look, comes back and said, my ruling by court, I rule that the paper that he was trying to adopt and submit, it is taken. When it is taken, the one who has lost it can say that, my Lord, I don't agree with you. I'm going upstairs. So he files an application on only that one to the Court of Appeal. When he files the application, because these days there's been complaint from the Bar Association, Civil Society, interlocutory applications are guided in a certain way. So when he files, the judge can say that you can file your appeal, but I'm continuing with the case. If the lawyer feels that continuing with the case will hurt him, he will file what they call a stay of proceedings. In filing the stay of proceedings at the high court, he will tell the judge that it is meritorious and it is fair that you wait for me to go to the court of appeal to hear this decision before I come back. The judge can say no. When the judge disagrees with the stay of proceedings, he is most likely to go on with the case. That disagreement of the judge of the stay of proceedings can also be appealed against. So he goes to the court of appeal and said, I filed a stay of proceedings. The high court judge says he won't listen. Three court of appeal judges will listen and they can tell the high court that the stay of proceedings has been granted. Or that the stay of proceedings was not granted. If the stay of proceedings is not granted at the court of appeal, on that small matter, he can go to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court, five judges will sit and say, we have granted it, we haven't granted it. If they don't grant it, he'll go to Supreme Court review. Now, who is the master of that? Chachu Chikata. Chachu Chikata. He's the master of interlocutory applications. He is the Maradona, the Pele of interlocutory. Oh, Chachu. Small thing. Oh my Lord, I'm going to the court of appeal. I will not accept this. I go to the court of appeal. He goes to the court of appeal because I agree with the high court. Oh no, my laws, I'll test it at the Supreme Court. He goes to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court review. That's my Lord, Mr. Chikata. So I'm just trying to explain. I'm coming to tell you what happened today. So this matter is at the high court. At a prosecution, when the prosecution finished their case, Everything they say they have to evidence it, bring with